My favorite mousetraps to review are new designs that are invented by YouTube viewers. There is so much creativity out there, especially with 3D printed mousetraps. Now this is just one week of packages I received from YouTube viewers, so let's start opening these up and see what's inside. I am really excited to test out the mousetrap that's in this package. You can see the label says Mascal's Mill. That's in reference to a video I posted a while ago where I recreated mousetraps from a book that was written 428 years ago. This is one of the mouse traps. It's called a mill. You put this over a bucket of water, the mouse walks down the spindle, steps on these paddles, spins, they get dunked in the water. This worked really well. And when I posted that video, I made a challenge to the YouTube viewers to improve this and make a modern design. And one of the YouTube viewers named Dave from Michigan, he's a CAD designer and he made a 3D printed Mescal Mill mouse trap. Let's open up the box and see what it looks like. I just love how this trap turned out. We have our four paddles with a hole in the center. On the end of each paddle, we have a place to smear peanut butter. That will be a nice treat for the mice to come out and get. Now you put the spindle through, put the ring on. There's a hole right here for a zip tie. That way the paddles, when they spin, won't come back. Then you connect it to the bucket with this little clip. You put that on. Two more holes for zip ties. Now I'm going to go set this up on a bucket and see how it spins. We have a bucket here with a ramp. I put our 3D printed mescal mail trap together with those zip ties. They hold everything in place. This is really well designed. There's a clip here that fits right on the edge of the bucket. To attract the mice, we just need to put peanut butter on the edge. Now I go through about one of these every two months by trapping every night. We don't eat peanut butter in my house because my kids are allergic, but let's open that up. That's a generous amount of peanut butter. I also like to put some as a pathway so they come up the ramp, smell it, and want to go out here. We have a lot of bait. The trap's spinning nicely. The last thing we need to do before setting this up in the barn is add water. That'll do the trick. Let's go set up the motion cameras. I had a feeling this trap would work, but when I went to go check it in the morning, I'm amazed. There are nine mice in the bucket. This has to be one of the best mouse traps I've ever tested. It's definitely in the top three, along with rolling log and walk the plank. In a lot of ways, I like this even better because the spindle doesn't move. They feel really secure and they want to get the bait. They step on those paddles and they just get dropped in the bucket. The motion cameras didn't record every single mouse we caught with this trap, but the footage does show that this works well. Now I love posting a video, making suggestions. You never know who's gonna be watching that. Dave took the idea, made a bigger spindle. He made this pretty quick. Within a few weeks, he had it all produced and shipped to me. And wow, this mousetrap design was first described in a book by Mescal over 428 years ago. So thanks Dave for making a modern 3D version of the Mescal Mill mousetrap.